Hello and welcome to today's class. Our topic for the session is regarding geometrical concepts where we will be learning how to draw basic angles with the help of basic geometrical set case, ruler and pencil. We will be learning about the basic requirements of basic construction where the underlining, measurement and labeling of the construction purpose will be very much important. Now, let us recede forward toward the board so that we can understand how to draw the basic angles. So, we will start with the basic understanding of how to draw a particular angle which is equal to the given angle. So, the first topic is to construct a congruent angle. As you can see, there is an angle given over here which is named as AOB we need to construct another angle with the help of basic measurements as same as the angle given over here. So, for that we will start with lining drawing a basic line. So, let us first of all put the ruler over here and now I will draw a straight line. Name the line segment at the basic beginning as O, mark it as an angle O array over here and name it as C. Now, keeping O as the center point, what we will do, we will take the measurements. For first of all, what we will do is, we will first of all measure the given basic angle which is over here with the help of the compass. We will place the pin head at the center point O and I will mark an array or an arc over here with the help of the compass with a random angle. Without disturbing this angle, what we will do is we will put the pin head again back to the basic angle over here, we will put it at this particular position and again we will draw a arc with the random measurement which was taken over here without disturbing the measurement. Now, what we will do is we will name this particular arc intersecting arc as S and T. So, we have an arc over here for measurements. Now, putting this pointed head on point S, we will measure the particular distance between the two angles with the help of the markings. As soon as we get the measurements, we will not disturb this measurement and what we will do is, we will come down to this particular, particular marking point, we will name it as Q. Putting this pointed head on the point Q, I will mark a particular array intercepting at the point as x. Now, with the help of the ruler, what we will do is, we will join this particular two points that is O and x with the help of the ruler, keeping the ruler straight and we will keep an eye that two of the lines should coincide. After making the points coinciding, I will draw the line over here, a straight line so that getting an angle. I will put it as an arrow over here and already the marking has been given, we will put another marking suppose as it can be W. So, hence we have two angles which are exactly equal and congruent. So, hence angle A O B is particularly congruent to say that angle W O C. So, these two angle measurements are exactly equal. Now, what we can see over here is after the construction of two angles, we have named them as angle AOB is congruent to angle WOC because two angles have been constructed on the basis of same criteria and the measurements are also very given. It is very much important that we have to keep in mind the labeling should be very much pro appropriate and the names should be given very much accurately. Now, we will learn about how to draw various angles like 60 degree, 90 degree and 120 degree. So, our topic is construction of angles like 60 degree, 90 degree and 120 degree. So, for that we will start with the basic rule again, we will draw a particular line name it as O and B. Now, we will take the ruler and the compass, first of all we will point the pointed put the pointed head on O 
and will draw a random angle without any particular measurements. So, this is how we draw the random angle. Now, without disturbing this measurement, we will keep this particular point at this intercept named is as T. We will put the pointed head on T and we will again make an intercept on this particular arc. So, this is point number S. With the help of the ruler, we will join the points O and S. And hence, we have an angle of 60 degree. Name this as A. Proceeding forward with 60 degree, we will go for 90 degree. We will have the basic angle of 60 degree constructed and on the same point where we have already constructed as point S, we will keep the pointed head. After keeping the pointed head, we will mark another measurement or arc over here naming it as Q. Now, we have two points of intersection that is Q and S. To make the 90 degree angle, we have to bisect the angle. For this, we will first of all keep the pointed head on S and we will draw an arc. Without disturbing the measurement, I will again keep the pointed head on Q and again draw an another arc intercepting the previous one. Let it be called as P. Now, if we join the points O and P, what we get over here is a 90 degree angle. Let the angle be called as W O B. So, we, what we have constructed already is angle S, angle A O B as 60 degree. The newly constructed angle W O B is 90 degree. Proceeding forward with the another angle as 120 degree. So, what we need to do is since we have already constructed the angle over here, the previous intercept that was Q, it is already 120 degree. So, what we do is we will particularly join these two points that is O and Q. Once we join the points O and Q, we get another angle over here as 120 degree. So, now I can write the measurements as angle A O B as 60 degree, angle W O B as 90 degree and angle V O B as 120 degree. Always remember that the measurements should be very much appropriate and up to the mark without labeling the marks, without labeling the measurements and without labeling the positions, it will be very much appropriate or inappropriate to draw the angles. Our next topic is construction of bisector, line bisector. So, we will writing about over here as construction of line bisector. The point which we need to be very careful about it, bisector means bisection of a line into two equal parts. So, we have to be very careful that whatever line has to be drawn, it has to be bisected into two equal parts. So, first of all, I will draw the basic line, a line segment over here and name it as AB. With the help of the compass over here, first of all, we will take a random measurement which is almost or approximately more than half of the drawn line. So, you can see over here is it is almost more than half of the line. So, after making this measurement, we will draw an arc on top of the line and one at the bottom of the line. Make it a little bigger so that you can coincide the two points. Without disturbing the measurement, I will again keep the pointed head on B and again I will mark two lines.
Now, we will be joining these two intercepts with the help of the ruler. First of all, we will find out that they coincide or not. Once they coincide, draw the line and name the intercepts as Q and P. And hence, you can see the line is divided into two equal parts. Now, our next topic is how to construct a perpendicular from a point outside the given line. So, for this we will start again with the basic point that is with the help of the ruler we will draw a particular line segment. Name it as A B. With the help of the compass before putting the compass we will take a random point P outside the line. With the help of the compass we will draw a random line or an arc which coincides the two points in A and B. Without disturbing the measurement I will take the point over here and make an arc. Similarly, at point B we will draw another arc to intersect. After the intersection, we will join the two points. It is very much necessary that the two points should coincide, elsewise we will not get the point as 90 degree. So, the construction over here is 90 degree. Remember to mark the points, let it be as Q and the point is already given to us as O and this particular point of intersection be O. Now, the angle over here constructed is P O B is equals to 90 degree. Now, we have learned the basic concepts how to draw different angles. Now, I would like you to draw some two angles as a home assignment. So, your home assignment that is your homework will be construction of 30 degree and 15 degree. Hope you liked our video. Keep watching and give us your valuable comments. Thank you.